Hello, hello. this is Art, and I'm going to show you how to get Snagit up and running on your computer. Uh, Snagit is a image capturing slash video capturing program that's multifunctional. There's, it's very robust. There's a lot of features. Um, it, from anywhere from image alteration, if you want to edit image sizes, if you want to add special effects, if you want to... Uh, it's just a great program both for Mac and for PC. I've used the PC version for many years and I'm very, very comfortable with it, very happy with it. I've seen uh, other programs similar to it, but I haven't seen one that's been as easy as Snagit is. So uh, with all that being said, um, it's, it's worth uh, doing a video over. So without further ado, let's go ahead and begin. First off, I'm going to take you to Snagit's website where you can purchase the uh, the program itself. The uh, the site is uh, techsmith.com slash snagit.html. Here they have an overview video as well. You can see there's a free trial. You, If you want to just take a peek and see if you like it, if it's for you, I believe it's a 30-day trial. I would encourage you before you take the plunge and buy it to try out and give it a spin. It's fully functional for those 30 days. So go ahead and give it a trial. It'll ask for your email address. You'll sign up. Um, and then um, when at the end of the uh, 30 days, uh, then you can enter your payment information so you can continue using the program. Um, you can also buy it right now from the website. Now, me personally, I normally don't take that route, especially when it's in the App Store. So um, showing you where that's at, if you were to go to the App Store um, and just search for the word Snagit, same price, $49.99. It's a 20.8 megabyte file. Um, we're now in version 2.10. And that's as of here, August 5th, August 4th. I'm not sure what the exact date is. Um, August 5th, excuse me. <clears throat> uh, some, of, some of the features, if, you know, when you're capturing your image, it should, it'll give you these little crosshairs. And it gives you this little pop-up window so you know exactly where the edge of your image is. So you're not capturing miscellaneous pixels that you don't need to. It's a very, very good program. I like the little slider bar that pops out. And it goes away when you're not needing it. So it's just easy to access. On a Mac, we don't have a print screen button, so um, you know, on a Windows, you just press print screen and the vectors, the crosshairs pull up here so you can do your image capture. All right, so uh, let's go and get that, let's get this puppy up and running and uh, take, take a look at it. So we're gonna go and install that now. All right. Now I had installed it part of this video, so I'm going to walk you through the the full installation process. We'll just search for Snagit. And it says it's installed. There it is. Go ahead and open it up. All right, and you can already see this little pop up window. It already comes out here. Uh, there's a, func a shortcut key. Um, you can configure this. You know, me personally, I just do something like um, Alt C, and, uh, and then it lets me do a capture. Okay. So let's go ahead and do a capture here. I'm gonna go ahead and press the, the shortcut or I could just come right over here to the dock and click on the red camera. It's set to uh, image capture. I could switch that to video if I were wanting to record the screen like a video, which you know, then you could change that, uh, that shortcut to be something a little easier. Um, there's a page, there's the image editor. That's what the little plus is. And then they have their help. And then there's a settings menu. Um, and you can change I guess the video change. There's a uh, video options. You can change the delay when you want the capture to begin, and you can preview your video in the editor. You can also capture. Uh, same thing with the image capture. You can you can input a delay. Um, well, let's take a look. Um, let's do our first capture. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the uh, the toolbar here. Click on the little uh, red camera. We'll just capture this uh, this cat here now because its ear is kind of close to the top here. You can kind of see in the video where the edge of the ear is. So it's kind of like right here is the top, the highest point of that ear. So I'm going to kind of grab those crosshairs to right about there. And I'm going to just click and hold. And then I'm going to drag down to the other end of that ear, maybe right underneath the, the chin there. Okay, perfect. Okay, so I got a picture of the, the cat's head. Um, you can do a lot of things. They have cropping tools. Um, you know, I could come in here and, and throw in a thought bubble, which I can do like this. And it's, it's, and it's, and you can, it's really customizable, so you can come around and drag it around. And you can drag the bubbles down. 
and you can twist it. You know, sorry, let me undo that. And it even alters your text that way when you when you alter the uh, orientation of the picture. So it's pretty pretty neat program. I mean, you can come around here and play with it. You can see previous images I've captured and just made some alterations. Uh, you'll see me sometimes come in here. I'll do an image and I'll throw in arrows pointing at something. So, like for example, um, here I was showing someone the weather and saying, "Man, it's 111 degrees," and you can point to that screen. Now, what's really cool about this? So let's. I'll give you an example. I'm going to copy this image, just select it, Control, uh, Command C, Command A, you know, select all, Command C. I can also click on here and just copy the image. Um, and then I'll say just pull up, uh, we'll pull up mail, for example, and we'll compose a new message. All right. All right. And I'll select my from account, and we'll do. And then I'm just going to paste my picture in here, and the picture actually embeds into the uh, into the into the email. This will actually embed into emails if you're using some a program like an instant messaging program like uh, Trillion, and, or you know Jabber client somewhere where you can actually embed an image. You can actually send the image through that off to the other person. So you can alter the image, uh, which is really good if you're like in a tech support kind of role or in your or even in any kind of role. If, let's say if you worked in an office and you're working on a spreadsheet and there's a discrepancy between line 3011, 3012, and you wanted to point on that spreadsheet where the discrepancy is, quickly instant message that off to someone, embed the image in the instant message and send it back, you could easily communicate back and forth by embedding these images in, into those instant messages and altering the image, such as pointing in, putting in arrows to make just ease of use. It's also good for making tutorials if you're wanting to write a uh, like a, a knowledge base or an FAQ and you're needing to communicate something to another user this is a great tool especially with the thought bubbles and the um, and the arrow orientations you can do a dotted line you could do you could change the colors of these lines um, there's a color uh, palette you can do other and then you know you have your color tools here so there's really a uh, it's really a lot of neat things um, Couple of the other features, there's special effects. If you wanted to come around here and put some some jagged edges on your image, you can do that. You could uh, throw on a border. You could toss on some shadow. So right now, now that kind of looks cool. So I'll copy that, come over to my message, delete my image, and then paste it in. And then it looks a little more professional, you know, sending that out. Just just a little neat little teared off look of uh, what you're trying to communicate. So, um, and you can you can configure it. You know, if you want the the opacity, the size of the uh, the borders to be different. Um, I think you can even define the how the shadow is laid out, what edges are you wanting the to sh to be on. You can do all four sides. So yeah, I mean you really can have fun with it. Um, you can come around and play with it, and then um, and then share your your images with uh, your friends. But that's pretty much it. Um, that's just the base of it. Let me just make sure we haven't missed anything. Okay, we've looked here. Oh, okay, even uh, a couple of the other neat tools. You can share your images on Facebook. Uh, there's a Facebook tool. If you hit the drop down, you can share it in Evernote, Twitter, FTP, if you want to just upload this to somewhere, copy it to your clipboard. Um, TechSmith does have um, their own little uh, like uh, offsite client, screencast.com. You can create an account and you can uh, record your videos and, and upload them online. So. That is Snagit. I love it. Great program. And um, I would encourage everyone to download it. It is awesome. Hope you've enjoyed this screencast, and I encourage you to download it. Try the free one.